Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. We are not in the kitchen today. We actually are out and about in search of Japanese maple leaves. It's fall here in the Pacific Northwest and the leaves are falling. Most of them have fallen. It's a perfect way to forage for color. And it's absolutely ethical because the leaves have now fallen onto the ground and they're probably just gonna be swept away um, by people or the wind. So I am out picking up leaves on the ground so that I can bring them back to my kitchen studio and make some dye. Japanese maple, uh, as you probably know about the leaf itself, is this vibrant red. Um, it is everywhere here, um, planted pretty much as an ornamental tree. They're not native here, but they are here, and um, they're absolutely stunning. So it's been really fun uh, going around the neighborhoods looking for uh, places where I could pick them up on the ground. So I wanna talk about ethical foraging a little bit. Um, I am not picking leaves from the tree itself. Actually, I am looking for trees that have lost a majority of their leaves and they're just piling up. And I'm only taking a small basket filled. I don't intend on making a lot of dye this season. Um, in the future, I probably will store some up like a little squirrel and, um, and keep them for future dyeing. But today I'm only looking for a small amount, just enough so I can make one dye pot and test out some different materials in there. And with an iron shift, I intend to see what uh, other colors I can get from the Japanese maple. It does have naturally occurring tannins, so it's one that won't require a mordant, although I always pre-mordant my textiles anyway. It, it just adds a little bit and can shift the color in a nice way as well. So a lot of what we've done so far in the kitchen has been from food scraps or things that we could uh, eat. and. Another major part of natural color is obviously from all the plants that are out in nature that you don't eat. Animals might eat them. You know, you can take leaves and bark and roots and of all kinds of plants. It's, it's amazing actually. And probably some things that you have right in your backyard um, or in a nearby park. It really opens up your eyes when you're out walking. You start to see things differently when you start to understand the, the, the color that nature provides for us and how we can bring that back into our homes and into our creative practice. So here on Color Quest, we're also going to be going outside of the studio and uh, exploring colors that we can find um, outside of our kitchen. And you might be surprised. So I've collected my leaves and it's time to head back to the kitchen and see what kind of dye we can make here on Color Quest.
So how about that iron shift at the very end on that Japanese maple dye? I had dip dyed a scarf made from silk, so that always takes up dye really well. Um, but you do have to be careful with silk and iron. Um, so you can't leave it in the iron bath for very long. And as you saw in the video, I didn't need to leave it in very long at all. And it shifted quite significantly into that beautiful, dark, really rich uh, brown, but it's got that same sort of mauve undertone from the Japanese maple itself. And the thing about iron is that it's really dependent on the dye matter itself. So you can play with the different amounts of iron that you have in your water, the length of time that the piece of textile is in the dye bath with the iron or the iron bath, and it can make a big difference. So you never really know um, until you try it out what's gonna work, what's not gonna work, and how it's gonna work. And it's definitely becoming winter time here. The very end of fall is upon us. Fall is a special time though. I love it. And even though things are shutting down, there are still things that we can use to create color. Thank you so much for joining me in my first Color Quest foraging trip. Um, I hope that it will uh, get you excited about going out into your own neighborhood, parks, woods, and seeing what colors you can find to create natural color. So thank you so much for being here and 